Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. Got a lot of ground to cover here, so let's get started. First up, we're going to take a look at Master Mordo from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, portrayed by Chuzul Ejiofor. And as you can see, a killer clearance deal. So now I'm going to open him up and we'll take a look. All right, here is our look at Master Mordo. And the likeness to Chudalegia 4 is so-so. I think it could be better. And unfortunately, this might be the last figure we get of him, which would be a shame. But let's go ahead and take a look at articulation. He gets a look down, no look back to do his hair side to side and a pivot. Great lateral lift in the arms. There is no bicep turn. Ooh, a very difficult <laughs> single jointed elbow. Wrist flex. There is a crunch forward, a little bit of a crunch back because of his costume, a waist turn, a decent lateral lift in the leg considering the costume restraints, we get a thigh turn, multifunctional double jointed knees, no boot turn, and then we get a flex in the foot and a rocking side to side motion. Now we're going to take a look at his accessories. He has this mini staff with two trigger hands. He also comes with a set of clenched fists. He also has this crossbow, which I broke. <laughs> um, but maybe I can glue it together. Okay, now let's get a really good look at Master Mordo. Up next, this is pretty exciting. This is Dr. Octopus, or Doc Ock, who was featured in Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man No Way Home, portrayed by Alfred Molina. I'm excited to crack this one open. It's so exciting. All right, so there's a lot to discuss here about Doc Ock. The look of, um... Alfred Molina here is executed pretty darn well, which is exciting. There's a lot to show here. So I'm going to begin with articulation. He gets a look down, a look back. 
side to side and pivots in the head. Great lateral lift in the arms. Bicep turn, single jointed elbows. Wrist flex. There isn't much of a crunch forward or a crunch back, but there is a waist turn. You can get a good lateral lift in the leg despite the costume restraints. There's a thigh turn. Multifunctional double jointed knees. No boot turn. Flex in the foot. And the rocking side to side motion. Now, not only is this figure fully articulated, the tentacles can be a little bit reluctant, but they are bendable. And they cannot be removed. And each of the tentacles have a name, and I forget what they are. I'm going to have to do some research. Probably when I edit this video, I'll include the names. We've got the right upper. The right lower. The left upper. And the left lower. And now on to accessories. So Doc Ock comes with open hands. And his top two tentacles also feature articulation. So you could pin it like that. Leave them semi open or fully open. Really cool feature. Really cool. This figure is amazing. So let's get a good look at Doc Ock. I think he'll work on my display. <laughs> I hope so. Up next, we have Mojo. One of the most interesting X-Men villains of all time, and considering his story and what he does, I think he might be ranked as my second most favorite X-Men villain, after Mr. Sinister. So now it's time to open him up and we're going to take a look. So here we're getting Mojo, and he's a very intricate figure, and I love it. It was a pain in the ass to put together, but all of the features that are with this figure, it makes it worth it. And the detailing and the construction of everything about it is just phenomenal. Um, so I'm gonna delicately go through a little bit of articulation with this. There's really no head movements um, because 
he's a large character and we're gonna get some movement in the arms there is a lateral lift multifunctional double jointed elbows there is a wrist flex I'm not going to be able to do much with the torso, um, and there's this gapage right here that annoys the hell out of me. Oh, that bothers me. This thing right here can go any which way you desire. And each of these legs has three points of articulation and rotates to however you want him to look like. There are also these three clear pegs on the bottom, so if it doesn't work out that he can't stand on his own legs, you can have him rest and just display the legs however you feel. I think he's going to be too big for my rotating stance, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I will go forward and show you his accessories. He comes with an alternate head, which I kind of like this one better. However, his head was hard to get on, so I'm not sure if I'm going to swap him. He also comes with a set of interchangeable hands which also have a wrist flex. So that, my friends, is going to do it for this episode of Toy Geek Maniac. It's been very exciting. I've got some amazing figures, all at really good prices. As you so saw, Mordo was $5, and I've got Doc Ock and Mojo for pretty much half off. So there was some really good deals, especially for Mojo, considering how intricate he is and how long it took to put him together. So yay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell whenever you want to be notified when Red and Slim Productions uploads a video. Also, if you're inclined to help the channel grow, you can do so by following the links in the description. Thank you once more. I truly appreciate it. Sound off in the comments and I'll interact with you. And until then, love and light to you all.